Good morning. <laughs> I love that's the funniest video on the internet. Good morning. <laughs> we are headed to the farm. Yay. Highlight of our week. Actually, no. Tomorrow will be the highlight of our week. Because we might get McDonald's tomorrow. No, we're getting McDonald's right now. <laughs> no, but tomorrow we find out the sex of our baby. Your baby. Oh, just mine. We are headed out to the farm and we're shopping for McDonald's first. Oh my God, your blog boys. We are headed out <laughs> to the farm. <laughs> that wasn't my blog voice. Your blog voice. <laughs> my blog voice. And Andrew has um, just taken over my sunglasses. You have the baby, I'll take the sunglasses. Okay. And call it. So, mm, what are you gonna get? What are you gonna have to do? I'm just gonna tell her. Hi there, uh, could I get um, two breakfast combos, please? How do they do that? Oh my god. What? They're so good. I feel like this should be sponsored. Get at me, McDonald's. <laughs> it's like a plie. Why are your hands like that? Tell Misty Copeland she better watch her back. <laughs> We're back from the farm. What, are you making fun of my tights? Andrew's layered up. My little man tights are so cold. Soaking wet. We are home from the farm. It was so nice. It wasn't that, well, it was cold, but the snow was really deep though. I think Theo's gonna be really tired from running around. We're gonna Same. do an unboxing. Oh, we are? We're unboxing that? Well, I don't know what it oh, is. It's not, it's not for us. <laughs> it's for our neighbors. Oh so my god. We're not going to unbox it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I was fully ready to Oops. do this. That whole thing wasn't. No, it wasn't the best. There's so many things I hate about what you choose no, it, to be. It just wasn't <laughs> filming. This is what I'm having for lunch. This is an invasion of my privacy. I do not consent to this. It is a tofu and veggie and rice stuffed pepper. And then Andrew has these little things on the side. Yeah, I like those. A bit crunchy. Nice hair, honey. Thanks, I've been growing it out. I'm thinking mullet. Not really mullet. Not yet. But with a little bit of hope and some shears. Freshly showered. Feels really good. This is the Tangle Teaser brush. On days when I'm not filming or anything, I just leave my hair be. I don't put anything in it, except for sometimes I put some daily hair perfecting oil, just like on the ends to keep it healthy. Tip for lotion. Oh, you can see I'm, I'm like breaking out everywhere on my chest, on my back. I have this little kind of like rash thing here that's itchy. I like either haven't gotten to the point in my pregnancy yet or I just don't have that kind of pregnancy where you have like a glow and you know things just it's all looking great. I just I can't stop my breakouts. Like I have one coming here. I can feel it and it fucking hurts. This one popped up overnight. Just this is just the way it is and that's fine. I do have a video on the um, products and devices that I'm using for pregnancy safe, like acne skincare. So I will link that. Wanted to mention, I have started applying my lotion to wet skin. So I'm using the Bioderma Atoderm, which is like a really intense soothing balm. Um, for very dry, irritated, sensitive skin, just because I get really dry and itchy skin in the winter. But so I've started to get out of the shower and I don't dry my body off. I just kind of like wipe it so that it's not dripping wet. And then I put lotion on and kind of let it sink in for a few minutes, which is what I'm doing now. And then just rub it in. And I find that that layer of moisture really helps with hydration and itchiness and stuff. So obviously you can use whatever lotion you want, but that was a really good tip. Also, um, I haven't been using anything for stretch marks. I've heard, at least not yet, 
I've heard that a lot of it is genetic, like whether or not you have long lasting stretch marks. But if you guys have any recommendations, please let me know in the comments below. A few of my girlfriends recommended bio oil. So yeah, let me know. A few people have asked what I'm reading. So I'll just show you. I got this Obama book for Christmas from my brother-in-law. So I'm reading this. Um, I'm also reading Expecting Better. I just started it. Also reading Mistborn. My brothers-in-law and I, I, I mean, I like fantasy anyway, but we're, we're reading um, Mistborn together. There's a, it's a whole series and I think it's really popular. I don't know, I'm not all that in on the fantasy world, but it's really good. I'm really enjoying it. Good morning. Oh, there goes my tea. It is Saturday morning, I feel. And I just picked up our breakfast takeout from Lady Marmalade. We, I try and do that like once a week as like a little like treat and then to also support local businesses. Lady Marmalade is so good. Oh my God, I highly recommend it. So I'll show you what we got for breakfast. I do, I love breakfast, Rocky. <coughs> Okay, yeah. Andrew got huevos rancheros, rancheritos, rancheritos, sorry. Rancheritos, get it right. And he's wearing his raining jam. I'm just, the only House thing I'm the of is studying all the time. Oh, I know, honey. Okay. And I got a Benny. Obviously. This is me cooking, separating the things that can be microwaved from the things that shouldn't be. <laughs> oh, hey, just call me uh, Gordon no, Ramsay. I'm cooking. That's me cooking. Yeah. You're just mad when you look in the fridge and see ingredients and not meals. That's true, I am. For my potatoes. Gotta get a quick shot before we eat. Oh. And I'm not gonna wait, so. And here's mine. It's, I'm unable to wait. Oh, putting it back together, cooking. I'm cooking, Jay. Can you leave me alone for just a second? I'm creating a masterpiece. Got my tea. Okay, bye. Bye, everyone, I'm hungry, bye. <laughs> You're literally just shooting. <laughs> you have the videography skills of a toddler. You would just <laughs> the ceiling. Hey everybody, this is what our ceiling looks like. Bye. We're digging in. I took my prenatal. I'm taking this mega food baby and me too because it is vegetarian and it was highly recommended to me but the pills are so big and they're not capsules they're like pills and sometimes they make me a bit nauseous so <laughs> and andrew's cleaning up like the good little bitch husband that he is <laughs> <laughs> the comments like that is why i just found a new wife on instagram absolutely yeah if you don't drink coffee you will be crazy theodore Okay, bye. Bye bye. Hi. Yeah, why are you always in a mood? <laughs> he actually you are super is moody. always in a mood. He's, but he does not act brand new. Okay, bye. Why are you acting brand new? It's just such a funny way to say that. I don't even understand what it means. I'm old. That's because you were born in like the 40s. I'm two years older than you. Two years makes a big difference. That's true, it does. When I was one, you were three times older than me. Okay, do something funny for the people. I don't do funny things on command. <laughs> See, I'm young. I have Fortnite. I have Instagram. You I know can about floss. TikTok. I can floss. I know about TikTok. I don't have it, but I know about it. <laughs> I like to get up early and hear the birds chirp. I guess that's actually more of an old person thing. In case you forgot, I just wanted to remind you how good Lucky Charms are. I just had two bowls for breakfast. The milk is really good too. And oh my God, this is my second box in like a week. Oops, shoot. Oh, I don't want to lose any of the marshmallows. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So I just did a workout. I did like a 25 minute yoga prenatal workout thing. And I am going for a massage. I'm going for a prenatal massage. 
and I'm really excited. This is the highlight of my week. I go to Touch Massage Bar in Toronto. They are amazing. It's so relaxing and so beautiful there and all their masseuses are RMTs. And I just wanted to show you this tip that I do. So if I have a breakout, which I have all the time now, I put these pimple patches on if I'm gonna be wearing a mask for a while because obviously I wear the mask for the whole massage. Um, and it just like protects them and I feel like it, it keeps them from getting worse. I don't know if that's true. Just finished my massage, feeling so good. It is so cold out, it's snowing now. For anyone who is looking for a good RMT in Toronto, Amanda at Touch, especially for prenatal, I swear to God, she has magic hands. It's amazing. Oh God. A little Valentine's Day treat for me. And I'm gonna go home. I have to decide if I wanna make dinner or order in. We all know the likelihood of that. Then I'm gonna watch to all the, Bo the new To All The Boys on Netflix. And that's my exciting Saturday. I don't know why I decided to start vlogging during a pandemic. <laughs> Theo and I are sitting on the couch. Say hi, Theo. On our heated blanket. And I am looking at furniture for the new house. I'm very excited. I'm on Pinterest and finding new things. What are you doing? Reading it for your big show, your big vlog. I have this on in the background. That's why my face looks kind of blue. Just like. Oh, this look? Moving art. Nothing, nothing much. Just sweatpants. Ever heard of sweat everything? <laughs> I wish they made sweat underwear. What are we getting in our. What are you looking at? Oh my gosh. Your style's all over the place, child. So. I'll link my Pinterest below if you guys want to see kind of what we're thinking for the new house. What we're thinking? What we? I'm thinking. Yeah, what no, we're thinking. No, I, I asked you earlier today your <laughs> no, opinion on stuff. I know, I know. But my, my taste reigns supreme. Shocker, we did take out Thai food. Suko Thai is our favorite place. Theo's all bundled up. Mm -hmm. Hello and happy Valentine's Day. Coming you from, coming you, coming to you from my couch, wearing sweatpants, watching to all the boys forever, forever and for always and forever, wearing shit on my face. If you're wondering what's on my face, I will link a video that talks all about it and this weird mask that I'm using right now for various reasons. Had three bowls of Lucky Charms for breakfast for my breakfast number one. And then I had my eggs, breakfast number two. And then I hung out for a little bit, did a little bit of yoga, had a nap, which was so nice. Nice little self-care. Then I spoke to my dad for like an hour. Missed my dad. Then we had Mexican for Valentine's Day. We just gave each other cards. Uh, we're not really big Valentine's Day people anyway, but we also bought a house this year and we're having a child, so. Not gonna do anything crazy. Andrew's back studying, poor guy. He worked and now he's studying. I don't know how he does it, honestly. For those of you who are asking, so he's finishing his fifth year of residency in emergency medicine. And so this exam is like a huge end of residency exam. It's like, I think it's called the boards in the States. You basically have to pass it if you wanna continue on in medicine and so they study for a year, a whole year, because there's so much to get through. I don't know, this year is just, between the pandemic and that, it's just a lot for him. And so I am watching to all the boys and wearing this weird shit on my face. Happy Valentine's Day. Good morning. Hi. I have a, another dog with me. Some friends of ours dropped off Theo's wife, actually, they got married. Yes, they've known each other since they were babies. She's so cute. Hi, Dea girl. 
She's the sweetest girl. She's such a big bear. They just love each other so much. This is honestly the, no, 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 honey, that's my mask. The extent of my social life is dogs and it's exciting. So we are just hanging out this morning. I am doing my nails. So I just filed down the top of my shellac and I'm gonna take it off. And I'm also watching tennis. I love tennis. Ooh, that's lovely. Need to have a shower. I just wanted to say that, like I got these on Amazon to try and not use aluminum foil. No, what's it called? <laughs> and they just don't really work. So I like, I didn't want to waste aluminum foil, but these don't really work. I'm giving them one more try. Just wanted to let you guys know that. They're really cool too. Really chic. I just finished a bunch of filming. Um, I filmed a IG post video, an Instagram video. <laughs> and then I just filmed like five reels all at once. And this is the first time I done my hair in probably, oh my God, I wanna say like three weeks, a month. And it looks okay, not the best. <laughs> oh, I really need highlights, but that's okay. Yeah, so I'm starting to lose light now, so I'm gonna stop. And I realized I forgot to tell you about the manicure that I was doing yesterday. I have to say so myself, I did a pretty good job. So it's shellac, I just used CND shellac because it's, I find it's way easier to remove without damaging your nails. I just look really tired right now. Those pink things that I was using, they, they worked okay actually. I think that the, so the nail polish that I had on previously didn't come off very well and I felt like it kind of damaged my nails when I was trying to get everything off but the CND came off fairly well. And so this is Dark Dahlia shellac. I just bought the shellac separately and then like a little light machine, curing machine off Amazon. And I did it myself. It took me honestly like three hours. <laughs> that was basically all I did that day. <laughs> yeah, so I am gonna go do some emails. I'm gonna go do some editing. Andrew's gonna take the dog on a walk. And that's what we got going on for today. I'm gonna make dinner tonight. I don't really like cooking very much and I'm not very good at it. So honestly, it's not something that I really enjoy, but sometimes I'll like put on a podcast or like call my parents or a friend or something and just like try and enjoy that time. And I'm a little bit hungry, so I might go have a cinnamon bun. Cinnamon buns are maybe my thing for pregnancy. Um, this, okay, bye. This makeup is, will be on an Instagram post video. So I will link that in case you guys want to know more about that. Earrings are true curated. These first two are from my collection with them. They're solid gold. I wear them 24 seven. I shower in them. If swimming was available during the pandemic, then I would swim with them. They're amazing. They're just the perfect everyday hoop. Ooh. And then there's also a charm that you can get that I have on that side. I'm getting excited to move to Vancouver. It's still like, you know, over a month away, but I decided to go out a little bit early just because Andrew's gonna be like really cramming for his exam that's in mid-April. So, you know, there's kind of no point to me being here anyway. So I'm like starting to plan out how we wanna decorate our new place. I think we're gonna try and work with Article, which is so exciting because I love their stuff. And so I've been like, going through their website and like planning all of that out. I'm just so excited to get to our new place. Although when I when I go to Vancouver, like when I fly to Vancouver, we won't have it yet. So I'm gonna be staying with my dad. 
which is so nice. I really miss my family. Okay, I'm gonna go get on my laptop. I am just gonna show you guys some things that I picked up at H&M. Oh my God, it's fucking snowing. <laughs> Andrew, it's snowing. No. Yeah. Good Lord. So I picked up a few kind of more maternity things. They have a maternity section at H&M, but I more was just looking for pieces that could work with an expanding stomach. It doesn't have to be maternity specifically. So let's see. I kind of forgot what I got. I was really looking for a lot of knit dresses because I really like that look, especially with like a coat over top and you can wear a turtleneck underneath, wear it with boots. You don't have to worry about sucking in your stomach. That's a nice plus. Not that you need to do that anyway, but it's just sometimes what happens as women. Okay, so this is the first dress. It's actually, I think it's actually a cardigan and I just, I don't know if this is gonna be big enough, but it's just like a long cardigan and I'm just gonna use it as a dress. It's a nice color. Although honestly, it kind of matches my skin because I have absolutely no color because I've been inside for the past year, kind of. And I can't use self tanners with pregnancy. My sweatshirt is Tentree, they have some of the best sweatpants and sweatshirts. They're so soft. This is the other dress that I got. Very similar. It's got slits up the side, but I think it should be okay. I don't, okay for what? I don't know. And then it's got a tie, but I, I don't think I'm gonna use that. Again, this might be too small. I'll have to see how it stretches out. Pretty color, again, <laughs> kind of matches my skin. I got this workout top because I'm needing larger workout tops. I don't know if I need to wear a bra underneath this or not. It's this nice sage color. Oh, this might be too small. I think I just underestimated my size. That's too bad. I'll have to try this on and maybe get a bigger size. Yeah, anyways. It's got like a little bit of a built-in bra, but I don't know how much support it'll give me. The last thing I got are some boots. I don't, I don't know. I wanted taller boots and I don't know how I feel about these honestly yet but I'm gonna try them on. I just wanted to wear these like with the dresses and I like the lug sole. So I'll have to try those. I have to try everything. So I also picked up some pieces from the H&M Studio Collection that launched last week. I think I got a few dresses and a blazer. Um, so we'll see what works with my belly. I mean, not that I'll be able to wear anything here. When I moved to Vancouver in April, I might be able to wear some things out. Things are a little bit more open there. Obviously you have to stay within your household when you're going for dinner, stuff like that. But I believe you can go into stores with a mask and a few other things. So that's gonna be lovely, I must say. It's been, it's been a lot being in Ontario and just in the cold, can't go anywhere. But you know what? Things could be a lot worse. I can acknowledge that I'm having a little bit of a tough time, but also it's important to remember just how privileged we are that we have a house and jobs. So I guess I'll get to work. <laughs> I'll stop procrastinating. <laughs>